hi guys and welcome back to my channel i know i might have said that i wasn't gonna be shopping anymore but yeah about that Anywho, today's haul is a h&m haul i went into h&m actually to make a return and i kind of came back out with a bag full of stuff but you know i can at least show you guys so, a couple of these things I got um, before my vacation. So, a couple of these things you might have already seen. So, I'm just going to style them a bit differently. Explain the prices. Explain the sizing. Some items I got in store. As I said, I went to make a return and ended up with a bag of stuff. And then in returning and ending up with a bag of stuff, I went to look for a different size online and I ended up with cart full of stuff so i might put these in part one and part two i know just means i gotta sell some more of my stuff so i can make room anywho if you want to see what i got from h&m keep on watching okay so h&m had a collaboration with um color story innovation i'm guessing it's a collaboration but I picked up a few pieces in store. They already have pieces in store on sale. A lot of things online are sold out. I'll still link them just in case they bring a few sizes back in stock. But the first item I got was this macrame bralette. It was originally $34.99. I got it for $18 and it's in a size medium. The second item I got from the H&M Innovation Color Story collaboration that's a lot of words um it are these knit pants they're not really going to do them any justice i also got these in a size medium these were also in store on sale regular 59.99 i got them for 34 bucks um it's hard to explain looking at it now but you'll see it in the try on clip this little bit goes around the neck it has like little suspenders it's knit they're calling it a terracotta color I don't know about these they're a funky fit but you know if you want to be a little different a little edgy you could style this up with like a little bralette and it might work for you but you'll see how I style these as well that's the second color story item that I got and the third and last color story item that I purchased, you saw this in my packing for my vacation haul. I didn't go into detail um, about what it was. It's this tie up, what is the material? Let's see. Material is, it's like a lyosol silk blend. So it's tie up, tie up silk skirt has ruching on both sides you can make them higher or lower it has a tie up in the middle that can go across your body a crap ton of times and i got this in a size eight it was 70 dollars. this item i actually got online when the h&m color story things were online i guess and yeah so i'll style this up a little different than i styled it up in my um vacation haul because Nobody wants to see a repeat of the same I thing. And yeah, this is a skirt. Now for the pants. I got, I picked up two pairs of pants. Um, they're probably, I probably will wear them with the same things. So I might have to get rid of one of the pants. I'm not sure which one though. But these beauties are an in-store only item. So unfortunately I cannot, um, show you a link for them but I believe they look like a linen blend it's probably yeah it's a viscose linen blend I got these particular pants in a size 8 they are wide leg they're paper bag waist and they were originally $25 I got them on sale in store for $13 and yeah you can sell these with a lot of things you can dress them up you can dress them down can go for a date night when it gets a little hot linen is really good in the winter um winter linen is really good in the summer so you know you have fun with these i'll have fun with these and along the same lines i <laughs> picked up these polyester wide leg pants these are online um i will have them linked below they are 
a good price as well they're only $18 I'm not sure which ones I'm gonna keep I might keep both of them because they're both under $20 <sighs> the struggle the struggle is real but I love a comfy wide leg pant in the summertime I can wear them to work with a crop top and or a bodysuit and it suits me really 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 well so there's that all right another item you saw styled up for the packing for my vacation haul are these patchwork denim Bermuda shorts I purchased these items on these items this item online for $49.99 they only had a size 8 when I purchased it I'll still link it down below just in case a couple sizes pop in here and there it was $50 I don't know why I paid $50 for these shorts but I love them I also had the Patrick Flounce crop top first and I knew these would have went perfect with them so I had to have them um they're made from 100% recycled cotton they had two different Patrick pockets and they're very interesting. These are definitely a statement piece, so I'm not mad that I paid $50 for them. I probably had a coupon code. I don't see myself buying things when I don't have a coupon code. But yeah, there's these. Um, I'm still on the lookout for them in a size 10 because the eights are a little bit tight, but if I can't find the 10 anytime soon, then these bad boys are gonna be worn out and I'll just have to suffer. Okay, so this shirt might look a little familiar to you. I purchased this particular shirt in store to go with a pair of Zara pants that was in my Bright AF clothing haul. So you've already seen this styled up one way. I'll style it up a little bit differently this time so that, you know, you don't get a little tired of seeing the same thing over and over and over. It is 100% cotton. I paid $30 for it. It's a size medium. The drawstring in the front is functional. So if you want to have a little more midriff, that's your business. And at the end of the drawstring are these cute little Kyrie shells tied to it. And yeah, it's light and airy. I also picked up a dress in the same fabric. Has a nice balloon sleeves. I have no complaints about this shirt. I absolutely love it. All right, in the same material, I picked up this, what are you calling this? Tie waist dress. It has a Kyrie shell belt with a little fringe on the end that I love. It also has a deep V if you would like, but it also has, which is nice, it also has like a little closure, hidden closure if you want to make it a little less cleavagey. I don't know if cleavagey is a word, but we're gonna go with cleavagey. I picked this up when I went into store to return. I think online, it's either not in stock or online or it's in stock for regular price, but in the store, I pick up this I picked up this medium and it was regular $50. I got it on sale for 26 bucks. I'm a little iffy about this. It's, eh, eh, I'm a little iffy about it. I might switch out the belt and maybe I'll love it even more. I do love a voluminous dress, like mini dress, but I'm gonna try to make it work. If not, then I'm just gonna have to go back. And with sticking with that, same voluminous got it right that time yeah voluminous mini dress trends obviously I like blue right now but it's this particular item was in the store on sale 30% off of $50 I think that's what like 35 bucks yeah 35 bucks it has a little belt that ties in the front I think online it might still be regular price for $50 I always say check your H&M um, stores because a lot of things that are still regular price online or not in stock online you'll be surprised you'll find them in your store on sale I don't know why but or maybe I'm just lucky but I do find a lot of things that are sold out online on sale in the store this is one of them I purchased this in a size medium so you'll see this styled up I might like this one a little better than the printed one which will be okay because I don't need too many things in the same print. I mean, I don't really care, but you know, I might like this one a little bit more. Another item I randomly saw in store is this rib knit dress. This was $50. Yes, I paid $50 for it. I don't know why. I'm starting to think my, my taste is a little expensive. Like I used to only shop at H&M sale 
but some things are just like the styling is just spot on so sometimes you just gotta splurge a little bit this is in a taupe color this particular item I think somebody returned because when I looked it up um, it's saying that it's online only but I will link it as well also for my next haul you'll see that I got it in a light yellow color I'm also not sure if the medium is my size when I was going to purchase it online H&M told me that my size would be a small so I picked that light yellow color up in a small and a medium and we'll see how I like it I think I also prefer that color a little more because this one's like kind of my skin color but I'm not mad at it it's lightweight it's viscose kind of thin a little bit see-through so that's what I'm trying to figure out if in the smaller size it's gonna be see-through but yeah it's the easy throw on dress size medium 50 bucks I like it also you already saw this this particular knit item is styled with my color story skirt almost forgot to mention it I purchased this online in a size medium it is $18 it does have like um knit shorts and knit pants in the same color so maybe I'll pick up one of those and wear it as lounge wear as well to get my money's worth well money's worth is only 18 bucks but so love this little knit top great for summertime not too much clothes you know and last but certainly not least this is a heavy duty knit dress and I love it. This particular item is only in store. It is $20. A lady damn near ran me, hounded me down about where I found it. I think I picked up the last one. Her friend had one. I guess maybe she thought there was more somewhere, but there wasn't. I got the last one. I hope she finds it. I hope she finds it in a different store. But yeah, so this is only $20. I don't know how it's really thick quality they do have a um, matching cardigan like ruffly crop cardigan that goes with it I feel like that's gonna make it a little bit more I guess work appropriate but look a little old lady to me that's my business this particular skirt also comes with functioning buttons down the side so you can have a little leg on show I have no complaints about this I might see if maybe another store has a small I mean, by the time the next video is in, I can see if I like the small or the medium better. It is a little spacious, but I'm not mad at it. I'm not mad at it at all. Love this for me. I know I said last but not least. Forgot about this hat. <laughs> this particular hat is going back. Maybe that's why I forgot about it. I saw one of the YouTubers across the pond that I follow. She had this hat. It looks super cute on her. Maybe it's my braids. It was giving me breakfast and Tiffany vibes, the, the shape of it, very Audrey Hepburnish. I figured this would be a great sun hat for me. I'm thinking maybe I should hold on to it until I take my braids out to see if maybe it's just with my braids that I don't like it. But I got it in size large. I don't know. It's only $15. It's different from anything I have, but we'll see we'll see I don't know we'll see let me know if you like this hat down below I'm a little iffy on it maybe in the next video I'll have a different hairstyle and I'll still try to make this hat work with styling it up with the pieces for next time and maybe I'll love it but for now I don't love it all right so if you made it this far you've made it to the end I know I wasn't supposed to be shopping <sighs> but you know it makes me happy so um, don't forget to like comment and subscribe and I will see you guys later <laughs>